Hi everyone, welcome to my small tutorial about RuCode, how you use RuCode with um, Visual Studio Code, how you can create your own custom applications. And yeah, this is everything possible with the free um, with the free AI coder RuCode and yeah, Visual Studio Code. And this is what I want to show you in this video. So in order to use RuCode, you first need to install Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code you can download for absolutely free. You can download it for Macintosh. You can download it for Windows or for Linux. Um, I will put the link to um, to Visual Studio Code in the video description down below. So you can uh, simply go to the video description, click the link, and then you can download it for free. And yeah, then it looks something like this. This is um, yeah, this is um, the dashboard of Visual Studio Code. And uh, let me. So oh, this is the visual, this is the dashboard of Visual Studio Code, and um, yeah. So first of all, you have to uh, you have to select a folder where you want to store all the files, all all the uh, created folders of your project. You can see right now um, here on the top bar, um, I'm right now or I have created a folder called Test App, and when you want to create a folder. And then you can go simply to file and then open folder. Yeah, and here you can um, yeah navigate uh, your your computer, the file structure, and then you can click on uh, yeah, yeah then you can choose a folder or you can click on uh, create new folder and then you will um, create a new folder for your project. Then you can click open and yeah uh, then. You are in your new project folder so and then um, if you want of course then you have to install uh, yeah the extension RuCode so RuCode is a free extension for Visual Studio Code you simply go here to um, this extension tab when you hover over it it says extensions click on it and here you can see uh, everything that is right now installed so here you can see I have quite a few extensions installed um yeah and if you uh here you can see a uh, client uh, docker and so on and to search for rucode or you can simply install rucode directly from here simply go to the search bar and search for rucode and then uh you will find it here on the first per uh, first position you can see um I have already installed RuCode, otherwise I had this installation icon or this installation button. Simply click on install and then um, RuCode will get installed onto your machine. Yeah, and then when you did this, then you will see this uh, small little rocket icon here. Then you can click on the rocket and now here you have to make some settings. You can click here for example and here you can see um, the auto approve. So this is relatively important that you uh, make the right settings here. So in my case, I selected everything so that the AI uh, yeah, that the AI coder or the AI model has full control over the the program. The AI coder can edit files, can um, create folders, can create files, uh, use the browser for example, or switch between uh, different different modes. Um, yeah, um, modes exactly and uh, MCP server and so on. So you can select everything and make it smaller. And now you have to choose the AI model you want to use. Uh, for this, here you can see um, I'm right now on DeepSeek V3 free. <laughs> then you can uh, go here to edit. And here you can, if you want to. Um, create a new profile. So for example, this is uh, the profile. I created a profile for DeepSeek V3 and I am connected to Open Router. And here I have put in my Open Router API key. And then, yeah, you can um, search or you can browse between the different AI models. So Open Router is um, not bad because Open Router has almost all um, API, uh, AI models. So uh, DeepSeek, uh, Gemini, Pro, uh, Nova Micro, um, OpenAI, uh, Anthropic, everything you can imagine. And right now, Gemini Pro 
2.5 experimental is free and also deep seek uh, v3 is free this um this is why i choose this i want to experiment a little bit with it but i saw um that this is currently uh yeah a little bit saturated and uh, i got quite a few problems uh, with it, with these uh, free models they are really good but uh, yeah many many uh, people are using this and testing um, stuff on it and yeah using it for coding and this is why i think right now it's a little bit uh, too saturated so i want to use um i think open ai for this the paint model but you can create if if you want you can create a free account with open router i can also put the link in the video description to open router it is openrouter.ai you can create a free account and then you go uh, here and here you can see keys when you click here then you can create a free api key and this api key you can then uh, come on you can then put in here and then yeah uh, you have a connection to open router and then you can uh, browse between the models so let me close this uh, oh, wait. Uh, and I want to select for now OpenAI 03 Mini and also you have here uh, different uh, modes when you click here on code then you have um, code you have architect ask debug so um, code means that when you when you paste in a prompt then the AI coder uh, will start yeah, coding your app. And here under Arch architect, for example, here you can discuss your project first. You can, um, yeah, or ask questions. And if you um, starting your new project, then I would recommend if you um, click on architect. And so let's create a small um, sample project here. So example, or I want to create simple I'm tracking application or uh, can track my freelance work for different clients. Oh, and then, um, oh, wait a second, let's switch the model. I want to go with OpenAI. And then let's fire this command. Okay, and here you can see uh, we get an answer uh, to plan your time tracking application effectively. I need some clarification. Which platform do you uh, intend to target? Web, mobile, desktop, or a command line interface? Um, let's see, web application. No, I want to have a desktop application. And then I click here on desktop application. And yeah, this, this planning function is really good. Um, yeah, because then um, you can explain everything in detail to the AI. The AI will ask you questions in order to, yeah, to clarify any potential, yeah, potential questions. So now we get the next one um, for your desktop time tracking application. Could you clarify a few additional points? Should the application uh, should the application support both timer-based tracking and manual time entry? Um, both time-based, no, time-based tracking only using. Yeah, let's go with this. Yeah, but you get the idea. This is um, this is really cool. And also, uh, you can of course um, install Rucode. You can play around with Rucode. But um, Klein is also very very good. You can install this as well and yeah, see what um, what do you like the most. So the next question: Klein with uh, default power rate. Oh, and here you can see um, here's the plan for the application, and yeah, look, looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's detailed plan. 
can see um, you want to build, of course, the application with Electron, uh, render process, the UI. Uh, here you can see the diagram. So here's the user interface. Uh, this is what you want to build. The timer module, client management, invoice module, reporting uh, stuff and so on. And then uh, we have the next question. Of course, if you want to add something, you can simply go here and um, yeah, add additional features or request ad additional features. Uh, let's confirm this plan or make adjustments to the plan, ex add extra features. And now I think the next step is that the AI will ask us to switch um, to the coding. Uh, no, not the time. You can also see what um, um, price for the API use. Okay, here now you can see uh, Ru wants to switch to, to code. So then we, oh, it's already switched to code. And now I think he will start to create the application or to create the necessary files. File structure, the folder structure, go on. Oh, and now you can see we are creating the first files. Uh, the package JSON file, uh, there are all the necessary um, tools and the description and so on. Okay, so now I think uh, all files are um, yeah, are ready and here you can see uh, the basic desktop timing application has been implemented. So, and then now he wants us to run the command. And yeah, now where should we run the command? And we, um, yeah, we need, we need a terminal. So we need a terminal window and here on top, uh, you can see um, the three little icons here. Uh, we want our terminal down below here. Make this a little bit smaller. And here in the terminal, you can see we are in the right window, uh, right folder. Check this ls. Okay, then. Ah, we, or we can simply. Oh, <laughs> I didn't saw that we have a button run command. I thought it was a, a new task. Um, yeah, then we can click here on run command. So, and then, uh, but yeah, now you know where the terminal or how to open the terminal. And yeah, here's our our new timer um, application. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, timer started at, ah, okay, this is, ah, okay, the, the current time, okay, good. Uh, so. Can generate invoice report. Okay. Ah, okay. So, uh, I'm audio. Okay, something is not right here. So then, um, yeah. So then, let's go back here. Uh, Control C in the terminal stops this. And then we can um, tell them what's wrong. Um, the application starts. I can access all tabs, but the timer, the main page does not work. And let's see what happens now. Now we're thinking again. And by the way, if you want to change anything, so for example, um, if you want to change, um, I don't know, um, uh, the, the the wording or the the head the headline of the application you build, and you don't know 
in which uh, file this specific uh, text or this specific function is located, then you can use uh, here this um, search function and then you can uh, type in or copy and paste the section you want to edit and then you will see automatically um, in which file this is, uh, this function or this text is located and then you can simply click and then um, you can change this. So this is Um, by the way, uh, if you have any questions, um, then put it in, put it, put it, please, in the comments down below. I will try to answer your questions as soon as I can. So now the next version of our application is ready. Uh, let's check it out. Let's click our run command, and here it is again. So let's um, click the timer. Um, this, uh, yeah, doesn't work again yeah but you get the idea now i have to uh, tell them again that it doesn't work and um i want to have a button that um yeah starts the timer but yeah i think you get the idea so yeah now you know um exactly how you can you can use a rue code um uh, yeah select the different ai models and um uh, here the functions the different modes you can select the different modes your code architect ask and so on debug and yeah i think um that's it for the video so if you have any questions put it down in the comments uh, below and yeah i would appreciate if you uh, press the thumbs up button if you learned something new if you like the video then yeah please press the thumbs up button and also please uh, subscribe to my channel i'm a small creator and for me um, every subscription every thumbs up counts and yeah so that's it for now thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye guys